All right, welcome to another Get to Know the Team video. Uh, I'm Joe Eames, and with me today we have Wagner Maciel. Wagner, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm doing excellent. Thanks. Doing excellent. So uh, let's just get right into it. We've got a lot of questions people want to know a bit about you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got into programming? Sure. Um, so I started programming in high school, like senior year, because... My brother suggested it to me. He majored in like physics and then ended up switching mm -hmm. to like computer programming, computer science. And he recommended it to me. He said, like, you're going to love this industry. So you should try it out. Huh. And so I, I gave it a shot and it's just, it's, it's been a good decision. I'm yeah. happy. I, I'm happy. I listened to him. Awesome. When did you know that that was something that you'd actually enjoy? You know, I, I've always had this thing. I think I think I'm a little lazy, so I'll optimize things like in my head, like things that really don't need to be optimized, like my routes mm. to classes in school and stuff like that. Like in my head, I'll be like, is this the fastest path to take to go to class? And so like problem solving kind of felt like intuitive to me and finding the uh. best solution was always like something that intrigued me. So the, the, the second I started like solving some, even some like simple problems, I found it exciting. I found it interesting. So I, I kind of knew right off awesome. the bat. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. So let's talk about languages. Do, are you, are you, are you pretty wide versed in languages? What programming languages do you know besides JavaScript? Yeah, I feel this, I feel like this question is such a, a tough question to answer. Cause if I say like, Oh, I know Java, then it's like, <laughs> how well do you know Java? <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so I, I I'm familiar with other languages and I can like get by, but Mm -hmm. Certainly, the only two that I'm like super familiar with is like TypeScript and and Golang. Like those are my two that I would say I can actually do decent with. Yeah, <laughs> everything else is like hello world, basic if statements. You know. Nice, nice, cool. All right, let's talk about uh, technologies that are no longer used. What's your favorite technology that isn't used anymore? Uh, you know, this question is a bit tough for me because I've only been in like this space for a short period of time. So not mm -hmm. a lot of the technologies that I've used have really phased out. Um, but I do miss like tinkering with um, like GraphQL, React and, and MongoDB. Um, like I think when I before I joined the Angular team, I, I would like mess with those things a fair bit. And now I, I don't know, I haven't seen like those like ecosystems in a while. So gotcha. uh, I miss using those, but they haven't phased out, obviously. Yeah, so not so much about phasing out, just stuff that you like using that you don't get to use anymore. Uh, that I Wait, say that again? So what you're saying is it's not so much that those have phased out. It's just that you liked using those technologies and you don't get to anymore. Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, let's talk about Angular. What is it about Angular? What's your favorite piece of Angular? Favorite piece of it, I guess, would yeah, be like the part components. Yeah. Uh, the components <laughs> library. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it just, it's an interesting space to work in, um, trying to solve solutions that like, that find solutions for problems that like usually people don't give a lot of thought to like accessibility and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, making sure things are usable for everyone. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I enjoyed the work. It's cool. 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 All right. Uh, well, let's talk about your role on the Angular team. What is, what is your role? And I know that there's like titles are kind of big on the Angular team, but really tell us about what it is that you actually do over there. Yeah. So I, I've been on the team for like two years, so I'm not new, but I still feel new. Cause I like every project I've gotten, I've had like a very different experience. Like I started mm -hmm. all the way on like the tooling team, uh, writing the pre-render which like lets people pre-render static pages. Um, so that was really fun. And then I ended up on the components team and I think I wrote the MDC slider, which is the new version of the slider that's coming out. But lately I've been working on like migrations. So mm -hmm. helping people move from the old component library to the new one, uh, which will be a big part of like what's coming, coming up. So if you're looking at changes to the repo that I'm making, um, that's what you're gonna see. I'm working on like migration stuff. Cool, very awesome. All right. Um, what do you think is the maybe the hardest part of Angular or maybe your least favorite part of it? So, uh, I think this is tough to say, but I think like toxicity from the community can be like really hmm. hard on like, I don't know, just mental health in general. Right. Um, 
And I, I think a common example is like during like feature design, if, if somebody, if people really want a feature, but it just fails to get prioritized, mm -hmm. like people get very upset with us. Yeah. And it's tough because, you know, our team is the size that it is not because of like any one of us deciding that, you know, and so we have only so much bandwidth. And so prioritization does happen. Um, and yeah, people don't like that. And right. usually the backlash is pointed at the engineers that, I don't know, like, what can we do about that? We can't really solve that. <laughs> Uh, that's very understandable. Very understandable. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's talk about ng-conf. Your ng-conf's happening. You get to attend in person, right? What are you excited about? So ng-conf, um, I'm, I'm not sure. I guess just seeing my teammates, because a lot of them got hired um, mm -hmm. like during the pandemic and everything. Right. So I haven't even met them in person yet. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's like the main thing. That seems like probably something that a lot of people are feeling the same way. A lot of, you know, two years is a long time in the tech industry for both teams and technologies, right? A lot of changes. Yeah. So I think we got a lot of people on teams that are kind of operating the same way, haven't really met in person yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk, uh, let's get a, a serious question here. How mm -hmm. do you deal with imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome. Yeah, this is like something that everybody faces. My personal solution is just to never try to compare myself to other people and just like sort of just focus on like what's in the work in front of you. Mm -hmm. If I start, you know, like there's always going to be a bigger fish that you can compare yourself to. Um, and so, so true. you can, yeah, you can just keep on like putting yourself down and be like, well, look at this person. Like they're already at this stage. Uh, in their life and like they're younger than you or something, you know? Um, and so right. I think just focusing on like solving the problems that you're presented with and like coming up with the best solutions to figuring out what problems are worth solving. Like those are the things that you should focus on. Like you should really not try to compare yourself much. Awesome. Okay. Some a little bit lighter hearted. If you weren't a programmer, what would you be? Ooh. Um, if I had to just say off the top of my head, I would say musician. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to go into our lightning round. Where I'm going to ask All you a right. series of questions. They're going to be yes or A or A or B options. I'll give you two options. You choose one. No justification necessary. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. So first one, uh, pretty common question. Kirk or Picard? Picard. All right. Ruby or Scala? It's Ruby. All right. Game of Thrones or Squid Game? Uh, Squid Game. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Mickey or Goofy? Mickey. That was an easy one. Easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Manga or mangoes? Manga. <laughs> All right. This is one of my favorites. Twilight or Batman? Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <Yep. laughs> All right. Last question. Uh, episode eight or episode nine? Uh, eight. Yeah, no. Yeah, eight. 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 <laughs> That was a tough one, though. That was a tough one, right? <laughs> All right. Well, awesome. Thanks, Wagner. Really appreciate your time. And uh, thanks, everybody, for checking us out. Hope you enjoyed getting to know Wagner. And uh, looking forward to seeing you at NGConf. Yeah, thank you so much.